I am uh, Frank Lyons, for those of you who I have not met yet, and I want to add, thank you. I want to add to, uh, to Brad's thank you to everybody for coming tonight, and it has been an enormous pleasure to meet the Cronin family. And those of you who I have not met, I look forward to uh, meeting tomorrow. Now, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to be funny or serious or what, so uh, I came prepared for a, a little bit of each, but there is one story I did want to tell about tell it, Terry before I got <laughs> more serious. I said Terry. I now, Terry liked to do everything on her own. And she told me one day, I don't want an allowance anymore. I'm going to go out and earn my own money. I said, well, that's cool. How are you going to do that? She said, I'm just going to go around the neighborhood and find odd jobs, and I'm going to earn my own money because I'm not going to take an allowance from you anymore. So she came back after a day of canvassing the neighborhood, and she said, Mr. So-and-so, who I'm not going to mention, told me I can paint his porch for $50. And I thought to myself, that's a huge wraparound porch. That's... I said, that's going to take you all day. She said, no, it's only going to take me a half an hour. I said, all right. So she went back and proceeded to paint the porch, came back about an hour and a half later and said, Dad, it only took me like a half an hour to paint the porch, and he bought way too much paint. He had so much paint left over that I gave it a second coat. I said, well, that's pretty remarkable. And she said, and by the way, Mr. So-and-so is so dumb. I said, what do you mean? I, I thought he's a pretty smart guy. She said, he is so dumb. That is not a porch he wanted me to paint. I think it's a Ferrari. <laughs> All right, that's my funny part. And this is sort of funny, too. The, the philosopher Socrates, who lived in the 5th century BC, teacher of Plato, was once asked what he thought about marriage. And he said, I think everyone should marry. If you have a good wife, you will be happy forever. If you have a bad wife, you will become a philosopher. <laughs> so, Sean, if I ever see you waxing philosophic, I'm going to worry. I don't think you ever will. Um, so I'm riding down in the car, and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. So I, I wrote a little poem. I had to write it for Sean and for uh, Terry. I had to write it on the back of my business card. <laughs> May your married life be overflowing with love from the cup, from the, lo from the love cup. Whenever you're wrong, admit it. Whenever you're right, shut up. <laughs> It's hard for me to say I've ever seen a finer young couple more in love. Uh, Sean, you got a wonderful girl there, and uh, uh, I think this is going to be many, many years of happiness, and I look forward to watching you enjoy it. Thank you very much. <laughs>